Decision 2024 in New Jersey has been full of twists and turns in the New Jersey Senate race. Now, one of the biggest names is out. Tammy Murphy, New Jersey's first lady, announced this weekend she is suspending her campaign. And it might not be the last development to impact the race. NBC 10's Lauren Make has been following the political and legal issues in this race. She joins us now. All right, what's first of all, what's the impact of Murphy getting out? Well, this new development certainly benefits Congressman Andy Kim, uh, who, along with Murphy, had been collecting big endorsements in this race and has raised a lot of money. But there are still questions about how he and other candidates will appear on New Jersey ballots and who New Jersey voters will see on their ballots this November. I am suspending my Senate campaign today. Tammy Murphy's decision to get genuinely... out of the New Jersey Democratic Senate primary, again changing the dynamics of a high-profile Senate race. In a I video released this weekend, Murphy said staying in Donald would Trump mean waging a divisive so and negative campaign. I will not, in good conscience, waste resources tearing down a fellow Democrat. Murphy is New Jersey's first lady, married to Governor Phil Murphy. She and Congressman Andy Kim have been at the front of the pack in a primary race for the seat currently held by indicted Senator Bob Menendez. I am hopeful that my exoneration will take place this summer and allow me to pursue my candidacy as an independent Democrat in the general election. Menendez announced last week that he won't run in the Democratic primary, but left the door open to an independent run. Could you vote for Menendez if he ran as an independent? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. With a guy with all the trouble like that, nah, I don't think so. The longtime New Jersey Democrat is pleading not guilty and denying wrongdoing as he faces federal bribery charges. But he would have a challenge with voters. Absolutely not. I wouldn't vote for him as dog catcher. So anyway, so he, I think he, he's betrayed the public trust and consequently he shouldn't be in, in the job. What is his base now in New Jersey if he were to decide to run as an independent? Yeah, it's hard to know. I mean, I think there's been large scale kind of backing away from Bob Menendez in the political sphere at large. Kelly Dittmar is an associate professor of political science at Rutgers Camden. She says one of Murphy's challenges was a push to change the design of New Jersey ballots, which right now allow candidates endorsed by county parties to be grouped together in one column known as the county line. I think that behind the scenes, I'm sure that the Murphy campaign had to look at the swell of support for changing the process in terms of making it a fair process of who was selected as the Senate nominee. And there was real momentum behind that. Congressman Andy Kim has sued over the ballot design in federal court. Other candidates are also urging for a change as plaintiffs. A federal judge could decide any day. And the deadline to get on the ballot for the June 4th primary in New Jersey has now passed. That deadline was 4 o'clock today. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News. All right. Thank you, Lauren.